part from what I do with things like this, that works like this. But also, you know, I, I have the realist elements to the foundation. I'm gonna get some more uh, warm colors in the closer areas. Bring that forward. This will be backward, maybe dark and you know, distant spots. And uh, a lot of the white areas. Behind the hair, all the highlights. Hair. My fiance jacket is the almost the female. Pose is based on me and Jackie, and the actual the woman is more so of another photograph, which I kind of wanted the, uh, certain elements of, uh, like the tension of the neck I wanted, and the pose of the head, the twist, like that. The hair I just I just made up. Uh, not really Renaissance because they. they a lot more um, figurally structured, you know, like better structure. You know, people look like their limbs are detached from the early Renaissance, but I really wanted them to be real, more so, kind of dreamy, and everything else to be very abstract, nightmarish. It's just um, shadows, cast shadow. And then I match the tone to the get shadow. It's just an idea. It's a process. And it's just an experiment and painting for something that's probably going to be totally different. Your light and your shadow creates your form. And you can't move the light. All you really can move it with is you know, you're just getting an outline. It, my method of learning is an important part of how I approach things differently. It's like, I learn by the obstacle that, that presents itself. So if I feel I'm working on a piece and my foundation isn't strong enough, I'll go start another piece, foundation-based, just to learn that the process works the way it does. So that I can get to a point where I can fully express myself, be expressive, but in a structured way.